Hello everyone and welcome back to Out of Mana. Today we're looking at Jet Set Radio Future Multiplayer, which is a standalone game for the PC that is currently in alpha and is made by one person, which is super impressive. Essentially what they've done is they've imported all of the models from the original Xbox game uh, onto the computer and they've written their own code to kind of compile everything together to try and Bring us a Jet Set Radio Future game for the PC. Um, Jet Set Radio Future is one of my favorite games. When I was growing up, I played it so much. I had such a lot of fun and I'm really upset that Sega never really pursued re-releasing it, uh, even though they re-released the original one, uh, the Dreamcast version. So, as the title suggests, it, this is a multiplayer game, um, but you can play it offline. So that will be what I show you today. I will leave a link in the description so you can download it yourself, um, which I highly recommend you do so if, if you do love Jetset Radio Future. So we'll go offline mode, quickly show you player setup. I've uh, already set up my name, you can change player colors and stuff, I think that's more actually for the uh, online mode. Um, they have graffiti select so you can go through and uh, select your graffiti just like you could in the original, which is super cool. Um, <clears throat> you can choose your character. I used to always go for Yo-Yo. But I know Beat was very popular, but they've got they've got like all of them here. That you can unlock just by, you know, playing the game. There's um there's no paywalls or anything, because obviously as a fan made game and not an official release, if they started adding paywall stuff, then uh, they can get in some pretty bad trouble. Uh, player stats, I've only had one one go earlier. And cosmetics, so you can change the spray can skins, which is pretty cool. Just by essentially playing the game, or you get like in-game currency that you can unlock, which I think I unlocked these two earlier. The uh, classic spray cans, I'll go for the default one. And there's more, yeah, outfit skins, which again, play with the developer. Oh wow, that's kind of cool, I didn't see that one. It's a shame that this uh, this song came on for my intro, actually, because I actually dislike this song quite a lot. I used to hate this song back in the day. <sighs> right, without further ado, let's look at the offline game. So, you can choose the music specifically, but I I suggest you know, going with the uh, map, map default. And they have all these different types of game modes. Which is pretty cool. So you got everything from uh, tag, team tag, capture the flag, Challenge mode, race mode, graffiti, last sand, bomb tag. I'll be doing free mode for this just so I can kind of show the game. And they got all the maps that you will fondly remember. Uh, they have most of the maps that you'll fondly remember. I don't think all the maps are in the game just yet. But like I said, it's just one, one person doing it. So very impressive. We'll go for Shibuya. And you can choose whether to have ambient life on or off. So that's like, you know, pedestrians, vehicles, which is kind of cool. And here we are. So, like I said, I've, um, I've not played this game in a very long time. If you exclude my, my first play, like my first game earlier. So if you're looking for high quality Jet Set Radio footage, you have come to the wrong place. However, if you're interested in seeing Jet Set Radio Future on the PC, then you have come to the right place. So, the controls feel, like, fine. <laughs> um, obviously, Jet Set Radio as a whole, uh, I would say, is not a uh, super smooth feeling game. But they've done a fantastic... Brilliant. They've done a fantastic job of bringing this game back to life. We'll give a little uh, little tour of the area. I don't know whether it was just in the original Jet Set Radio, but I know that there was, um, well, you know, when there were a bigger graffiti, you'd have to do the whole like twirling your uh, thumbsticks around to get it done. And that I haven't seen that on this, so I don't know whether that's a coding issue 
or whether that was just the original Jet Set Radio. Um, if any of you guys actually know the answer to that, I'd be interested to know if you could uh, leave it in the comments below. As I do not have access to Jet Set Radio Future, as I do not have my original Xbox, unfortunately. <clears throat> Alright, so I think that pretty much shows off this level pretty good. We'll have a quick look at some of the other ones. As in, I've only actually looked at uh, Shibuya, so... Uh, we'll go... Where is it? Free mode. Also, Jesset Radio has the best soundtrack of any game, I swear. Like, whether it's the original or future, like, the soundtrack, like, the OSTs are just so cool. Uh, Shinjuku... Uh... Let's go, let's go Shinjuku. And I am using an Xbox One controller for this, by the way. I'm not sure if other controllers work or not, but I didn't have to set anything up. My controller was already, like, set up um, for my computer, and I was just able to play without configuring anything. Let's have a little, little run around. So... One of the main reasons that I loved this game over the original is just like the free mode aspect of it. Um, I'm really like not a huge fan of like time trial style games. And uh, yeah, the original Jet Set Radio was very much a constant time trial. I used to get so anxious. Like I could never like relax playing. But then again, if you think about kind of the Dreamcast era, um, a lot of games were kind of time locked like that because really the the maps and the games as a whole weren't too big and complex because of limitations, etc. So like it makes sense why it was such a a popular uh, gaming concept. Yeah, the fact that one person has done all of this is absolutely incredible. Um, Mr. or Mrs. Developer, if you are seeing this video by any chance, uh, please let me know. And I just want to say you've done a fantastic job. You really, really have. And thank you so much for doing this. I will be giving the multiplayer a little go. Uh, probably tonight, actually. Um... Hopefully there are like people actually searching. I've not I've not looked at all. If not, I'll uh, I'll have to get my my lovely partner to download it so we can play together. Oh wait, you can do like a oh yeah, you can do tricks and stuff. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Your back. Oh no, I thought that was a little quarter, quarter pipe. I think you can do like a crazy like air tricks on. On like the slopes. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And we go back up here. Wait, can't you go down here? Yeah. Let's hope I can wall ride that. Nice. It's so funny, like, growing up as a kid playing this game, all I wanted to do is be a, a rollerblader and a graffiti artist. But <laughs> it's funny how, how games can influence young minds. Obviously, I didn't really understand the implications of uh, graffiti. Right, because my least favorite song has come back on once again for some reason. Very unlucky. I think I'll uh, I'll hold there for now. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about Jet Set Radio future multiplayer version. Uh, again, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below so you can go download it yourself. And big shout out to the developer that's made this possible. And we'll finish this off with Beat doing a little dance.
Take it easy, guys. See you soon.